My name is Amber Kivett. I'm a certified athletic trainer and human performance coach for Life Pro. Today I'd like to share with you one of our newest platforms, the Turbo Boost. Weighing in at 33 pounds has a max capacity for user to be 264 pounds. As far as size goes, we're 29 inches long, 15.5 inches wide, and 6.1 inches high. Comes with speed variability of 1 to 60, frequency of 5 to 16 hertz, three preset programs with manual mode for three different motors, has an amplitude of 1 to 10 millimeters, and has three training modes, including oscillation, pulsation, and a combined three-dimensional with oscillation and pulsation. Has default of 15 minutes for each workout. So once you unpack everything out of your box, you're gonna see your power cord. You're gonna have a mat that comes with it, which can be used on top of or underneath of it in order to make it a little bit more quiet. You're gonna have a special remote that has the ability to hold with one hand or you can put it on your wrist in the, in the remote holder. We have a set of resistance bands which we're gonna show you how to attach on the bottom of the machine. And then you've got the four different loop mini resistance bands from light level to heavy resistance. One thing that I wanna show you underneath is we have sticky feet, we have the hinges that swing out in order to apply the resistance bands. But one thing that makes this one very special is it's got wheels on the ends of it and a little handle so that you can pull this around easily without having to carry it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to attach one of your resistance bands. You're gonna pinch the end, slide it through the hole, Make sure that you can see a hole through it and slide your hand through it. You're gonna slide your hand through, grab the handle, pull through, and you're gonna secure tight. And then that band is ready to go. We're gonna repeat it on the other side. Doesn't matter if you go up or if you go down, and we're set and ready to go. You don't have to use this on a hard surface. You can use it on carpet or like what we are using on, on turf. You're gonna go ahead and plug in with the power cord, flip on your switch, and from here, you're ready to go. One thing I want you to go ahead and do is to activate the remote. Your remote already has a battery enclosed in it. And as you can see, you're not seeing the battery compartment, right? We kind of tricked you on that one. You actually have to pull the, the remote away from the housing, and from here on the back side is where you're gonna find the battery compartment. You're gonna open the battery compartment and you're gonna pull the clear sleeve out which is gonna activate the battery. Place the cover back on and now we're ready to go. You can choose to put this in the remote holder or you can put it in the wrist strap that you can wear during the programming if you choose to not want to bend down. So the wrist strap goes on just like a watch. Let's slide it through this little hole here first. Now, we can cinch down the strap with the other two little holes here. And then to keep that band out of the way, slide it on through the final strap, and now you've got yourself a wrist strap with your remote. From here, let's go ahead and talk about how you can turn it on. So from here, we're gonna push the center button, which turns it on and it automatically defaulted into a preset program based on how I touched it. So let's try that again. So we've stopped the button, push again, and now we're in standby mode. So when you see the lines that go across, that means the unit is not turned on for operation, but is in standby mode. So we're gonna power on again. And when you push the P button, we're gonna go through the different three preset programs. P1 is going to be in oscillation mode, so we're going to hit the start button by pushing the power button in the middle yet again, and you're going to see that it's going to teeter-totter in that oscillating mode, okay? To stop that and to change up your preset program, you're going to press the middle button yet again, which will stop it. You can choose a different preset program, which is going to be P2, and you're going to sense the pulsation, but the unit will not move. We're going to push start and you're gonna hear the machine, but you're not gonna see it moving, but you're gonna hear the intensity of it. We're gonna stop. Let's go through another preset program, which is our third, and that is gonna combine 
the two programs together. The M refers to as the modes. So if you want oscillating mode, pulsation mode, or the combined mode, you can do manual mode and create your own speed variability from the remote using the up and down buttons. And you can also choose the time increase or decreased on the buttons. It maxes out at 15 minutes. So if you're wanting to do more than 15 minutes, you'll have to restart the machine after that 15 minute program is complete. However, you can decrease the time. What's really important to remember though is once you start the unit, you cannot decrease the time. You can only change the speed once you've started and only if you are in manual mode. So that being said, if you're in the preset programs one, two, and three, all you have to do is choose the program and push start and then the rest of it is just enjoying the program. So let's go through the control panel. We have our on off button on the far left. I'm gonna turn that on and now we are ready to choose our mode. If you're choosing mode, you're choosing manual mode operation. If you're wanting a preset program, you're gonna to go to the program button and you're gonna select whichever program you want to start with. If you want more of a variety in your program, you're gonna to have to choose the manual mode function. And there we're seeing things moving. One other feature that makes this one really powerful is the push up handles. So you can use the handles in order to pull or you can use the handles to push, but each handle we're gonna slide out and it swings upward. You can either push down and keep it into that position or we're gonna pull up firmly and we're gonna slide it in because it's got two different positions in which we can stabilize. Okay, I would highly recommend that we make sure that we are stabilizing in the same position on both sides versus creating one in one set and versus the other on the outside. So make sure that you keep your handles equal distance versus mixing that up a little bit. But again, if I go into manual mode setting and I'm gonna choose to just do pulsation and let's say that I'm just wanting to work on experiencing the vibration without the platform moving, you can do that through the push, through the push handles. One of my favorite exercises to do for backs, especially if you have back pain, I'm gonna push stop. I'm gonna go into manual mode for the third, which is gonna combine oscillation and pulsation together. And I'm gonna push start. And from here, I'm actually gonna stand on the device and I'm gonna grab those handles and I'm just gonna pull. And in pulling those handles, I'm experiencing the energy directly into my, into my low back as far as the vibration goes, but I feel it where the tension is in my back. It just makes you feel good. So make sure and stay connected with us. If you are wanting different programs that you can use at home without having to wonder what you can do with this, make sure and look us up on YouTube. We have a, a video library that you have exclusive access to once you activate the warranty and let us know that you've got a device. We also have social media platforms with Instagram, Facebook, and again, I mentioned YouTube. So make sure and let us know how you're doing with your device. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.